This is Wired Wednesday and Apple quietly raised prices and Meta releases its most high end virtual reality headset to date. So to break that down more, we are joined by Lisa Edichico, senior editor at CNET. Good morning, Lisa. It's always nice to see you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. OK, so I want to start with Apple raising its prices. How is the company explaining this move and does it actually affect its bottom line? Yeah, so for Apple Music, they said part of the reason behind the price hike is because of an increase in licensing fees and bigger payouts to the artists and songwriters. And for Apple TV Plus, they didn't give as straightforward of an answer. They basically said that, hey, when we launched Apple TV, it was a really small service. And now years later, we have a lot of this really high quality award winning programming. So that partially justifies the increase in price. Um, and as far as what it could mean for the bottom line, it's challenging to say because Apple doesn't really talk about subscriber numbers. And we know that Apple's digital services business is really important to the company, but we don't know how much of that revenue comes from Apple TV Plus, Apple Music, compared to App Store sales and things like that. Mm -hmm. Apple really keeps a lot of that information private. Well, switching over to Microsoft now, they posted a double digit profile decline in the three month period ending in September. So what does it tell us about Microsoft as a company now and then moving forward into the future? So the big message from Microsoft earnings is that even giant tech companies like Microsoft and even Alphabet are not immune to some of the bigger economic slowdowns we're seeing. The, one of the big numbers from Microsoft's earnings was the slowing cloud growth, and that's something that Wall Street was not happy with. And part of that is because, you know, it could be because companies are, you know, tightening the purse strings a little bit when it comes to paying for cloud services. So I think that's one of the big things. And also we saw that Microsoft's revenue from sales of Windows licenses to PC makers was also down 15%. And again, that's kind of a, a broader, that shows the broader impact of the slowing PC shipments that we've been seeing over the past quarter. So I think that was the big message is that some of these economic ramifications are, mm -hmm. are even impacting big companies like Microsoft. Yeah, sign of the times for sure. Now, before you go, I want to talk about Meta, the company that owns Facebook. It released its most high-end virtual reality headset. So some pretty neat stuff there. It's not cheap, though. So tell us about what makes it different and is it worth the purchase? Yeah, so the new MetaQuest Pro is $1,500, which you're right, that is not cheap. That's definitely an investment. But there is some pretty interesting new technology that comes inside it. You know, one of the big things is that it has these pass-through cameras that let you see the outside world in full color while you're in the headset. And there's also better optics, a slightly slimmer design, and eye tracking. And all of that is really interesting. But for most people, this is probably not going to be the VR headset that you want to buy. The Quest Quest 2 is a lot cheaper, it's only $400, and it can run a lot of the same games and apps. The Quest Pro, you know, just like the name implies, I think is really for people who are maybe investing in this for the long term as like a business expense if you're eventually thinking that you might use this for virtual meetings one day, or for developers that want to develop apps for this platform, because that's the biggest thing here is that there's all this great new technology in this headset, but it's very expensive and you're not really seeing the apps that take advantage of it just yet. All right, well, virtual meetings take Zoom to a whole new level. Lisa Edichico, Senior Editor at CNET, thank you so 